Hey everybody, welcome back to Light. Light. Still can't pronounce it right. Uh, I actually forgot what we were doing last time. Uh, shoot. I think we were going to play more. Oh god. Um, it's been a day. Oh right, we met the. If that's, wow. Why does it feel like this is really loud right now? Okay, I had to turn down the volume there. My goodness, that was loud. Turn it down a little more. Whew. Uh, now I remember. We found out the uh, police chief is here. And he left his little partner here. Oh, it's you. It's been a while. And morning. I want to talk. Captain says he's busy. So let's talk, Mr. Brett. Sure. I've already done all I can here. Oh, Brett's definitely changed, has changed their look, too. Aren't you and Mr. Captain together? Could I ask the same about you and Papa? I don't know where Papa is, but he's not dead, so it's okay. Manager of this place has a whip, doesn't she? If we were fighting together, we could cut it apart. In any other situation, I'm still absolutely terrified of those things. You got bullied with whips? More or less. Oh, right. I forgot they said, uh, the captain said he was a slave. I can't understand that. Papa bullies me by flicking my forehead, so I hate that. It's awful. He does that to you? Terrible. But someday I'll get stronger than the flicks and beat him up for good. I bet you can beat whips too, Mr. Rhett. <laughs> I see. You may be right. I'll have to try harder. But you're already really strong. Those, uh, misty things are... Like, super power, super overpowering. Oh, maybe it's hard to tell, but these are basically my wings and horns. Oh, oh, that's right. I should tell you, I can put those out freely now. Oh? What? Wait, those were hers? Or were those his? Already figured out how to use your power. That was fast. Yeah, but keeping them out wears me out real quick. Doesn't that make you tired? You've always got them out, right? I've always had them like this. It allows me to counter any attack right away. But I can only keep them out because I can fully control my power. If your power is unstable, it's very dangerous to do so. It's dangerous? Yes, it's possible your powers can run amok. The boy who's accompanying the manager of this place he might be dangerous. He's totally a dragon, right? But no wings! Maybe a lack of control over his powers causing his, only his horns to appear. Or maybe he's using his powers unconsciously. It's not definite, but I do think he's a dragon. He was asleep when I visited, so I didn't get to ask him. Man, so many mysteries. Damn it all to hell. Where'd you learn that kind of language? Papa says that stuff all the time when he doesn't know something. Hmm. As I thought, he ought to be torn limb from limb. Yeah? <laughs> if he was just like, what? <laughs> Good to see you, Captain. It's the Captain! The manager firmly insists that the boy is a human. And he didn't show any sign of waking. I withdrew for the time being. Is that so? Are you not busy anymore? I suppose I won't be until the boy wakes up. Oh! I want to know some more. Should I talk to the Captain? What is it? I want to talk more. Mr. Brett, that tie on your hair is so sparkly and cool. This? I got it from a dragon child in the care of the force. Cool! And those accessories on your belt, too? That's right. I've gotten a lot of gifts from people as good luck charms. Even the captain's eye patch came from the children. Because he can only re He can't... He... Wait. Because he can just regenerate any lost eyes. So he can see through the patch, so it's no problem. Are those children around my age? Yes. Many of those in our care are child dragons. <clears throat> Lots of kids. Because they can't control their powers, many have immense power, but can hardly use it. Bad guys try to take advantage of this and get dragons to use their powers for them. My abilities would be useful to spies and such, for example. Not that I know why I was born with powers convenient for those sorts. I wonder if I was born for some convenient reason, too. Who knows? We still can't say, really say why dragons are born. Hmm. I guess not. it's not like bad dragons are born from bad humans? When they've just been born, they don't know good from bad. Just like a child. 
Most dragons earnestly follow orders of their parent, so to speak. Though once they grow up, if they feel like it, they can certainly stop doing so. Are there grown-up dragons with the police too? There are quite a few in similar standing to myself. Most join a police force to do work for us. How'd you become a grown-up dragon? They're really tall! Realize your power, learn how, you, how to use it, and acquire knowledge. If you do all right, eventually you'll be an adult dragon. Got it! Thanks for telling me all that stuff! Don't mention it. I'm glad to be of service. You can have this, too. I was given far more than I could eat. Candy! Hooray! I love how everyone just loves Effie. Like, nobody wants to hurt her. They all love her, and I love it. We're not getting anywhere if we can't talk to that boy. I want to talk! Can we talk right now? Yeah, that's fine. Hmm, what should I ask? Oh yeah, Mr. Captain, how old are you guys? Our ages? Uh, I'm unsure, and I believe I've lived around 100 years. Red's lived for 10 or so? 17 years. Then dragons really don't change much as they age. That's right. Some dragons are roughly Brett's size when they're three. How old's Papa? Uh, when I first met him, he seemed about seven or eight. Now I guess he's uh, around 20, more or less? You met him that far back? Yes. He was part of a group of children about his age, living in the slums. He was sort of the boss of the group, and day by day they did thievery. Papa had friends? Yes. Sometimes they would act as a collective, other times he would act alone. But some years later, the children vanished when an incident befell the town. Years after that, we found him all alone. Where'd his friends go? We did find some of the children in far off towns, but one of them has never been seen since. They seem to be the weakest of the group, you see, so they may well have died when they were separated. I see. One of Papa's friends died. The strong eat the weak, it's just how it goes. Then I gotta be stronger! Heck, I'll get stronger than Papa and be the one protecting him! I like your determination. You have my support. Oh yeah, where did Papa go? I saw him in the hall downstairs earlier. Okay, thanks! Don't hurry too much. You'll trip and fall. I'm fine. <laughs> I do, I love it. Oh, I love Evie, she's so cute! <laughs> ah! You must protect the small dragon girl. Alright, well, let's not talk to you yet. Huh? Did I check over there? Ah, it looks like I got the officers here in force now. Always check- ooh, hello. Hey, you're up. Thanks for looking after me through the night. Sure! I poked and pinched and stretched your face, but you didn't get up. It was funny. <laughs> He's just like, uh... <laughs> He's just like, you did what? <laughs> oh, so you're acting separate from him now. Do you know where Hal went? No, I'm afraid not. I was just talking to him, though. I'm sure he must be around here somewhere. You're in here with the boy. Oh, you're awake. You might not want to around wander around too much today. Hmm. Asleep. <laughs> she, just, she just straight up says, asleep. I still have no idea where the legendary weapons would be. I feel like the first one, they probably realized, the first chapter they realized it was probably a little too easy to find it. And this one is a little more tricky. Because I have not seen it at all. I've been like, trying to look around all the time, and I have not been able to find it. Which, I mean, props to them for not for keeping them in, like, an obvious spot, like the last one. Although, admittedly, I didn't look for it in the last one. I just kind of thought it was something weird. <laughs> huh. I was just about to go wake you up. Saved me the trouble. I got up a while ago. I was talking with the captains. Oh, right. What are they doing here? Not a corpse in sight. They said they had business with the Dragon Kid. Wonder where they got that info from. I'd like to meet whatever informant they've got. Wanna go ask? No, not really. I'll look into it myself. Now let's move. First, the boy, William. We'll talk to him. He's up? 
Yeah. I heard them talking in the room earlier. Let's go. Hmm. There's definitely gonna be something in that room. How do we get up on the stage? I, I honestly thought maybe that would have been it. Like, maybe it's the cross up there, but... Not like it's pure, it's like it's gonna be. I'm gonna save just in case. William went to Olivia's room. Olivia's quite skilled in entertaining children. I must attain, no, maintain a positive attitude as well. <clears throat> oh, something happened? No. Don't need her right now. G good morning. I want to talk a little. Is that okay? Huh? Um, yes. Can we go somewhere else? Where? The hall outside, please. <clears throat> Wonder why. Guess we have to. I don't think anyone will be listening here. Ask me anything. Will, are you a dragon? Hey. I don't know either. Miss Sophia tells people I'm human, though. Is she often worrying over you? Yeah, and not just me. She worries for Mr. Lucas and Miss Olivia and Thom and Mars. <clears throat> she's even concerned for customers she doesn't really know. And lately, she's been really worried about the incidents with Mr. Lucas. Do you think you're human? It's only supposed to be dragons who can do magic and stuff, right? And what magic is that? I can... I can eat dreams. Yeah, so you are like me. When you eat dreams, is there a monster of sorts that comes out for you to eat? No, not really. There's this cotton candy stuff that floats over people's heads. I just suck it up, then they forget all about that dream. If I stare at it, I can see what's in the dream too. So no monsters that go rampaging, huh? So I suppose you must be connected with the people here losing their memories, right? <clears throat> no, I... I'm not... I'm usually with Miss Sophia, and I'm always studying, so I hardly even move from... And these things were happening before I came. Will, you lied! We'll ask you again after this. Effie, clean up. Meal time! Well, we know what the obvious one is. This is the lie. We know it is because everyone said that this incident was happening before this. <laughs> nice. Why'd you lie? Because, um, Miss Sophia. What about her? Uh. <clears throat> did you still want to ask me something? No, that's fine. Thanks. Okay, goodbye. He totally just ate her dream. You sly. Damn it. He took him. Huh? Our memories. He calls it eating dreams, I guess. That settles it. William's a memory eating dragon. That was a quick. M that wasn't for long, though. I thought that would have lasted a little longer than just two seconds. I was kind of hoping it would happen and we'd have to remember, but if you're just going to do it, like, right away. He took our memories? How do you know that, Hal? I was taking notes while I wasn't looking. But now I have no memory of what I wrote here. Blech. Sorry. Good thing I've been taking these then. Let's talk to the manager next. Got it. Oh, God. That. <clears throat> I've been like, my throat's been like tickling me this whole time. Yes. Would you mind talking to us for a bit? That's all right. I'll do what I can. I asked you before, but why did you wait this long to contact the police? And this was the fifth time. This has been that frequent. Lucas being stabbed or strangled or burned. It's all too common for the man. There are always minor injuries, so I couldn't be too worried. Next is about William. Miss, do you think he's a human, or do you think he's a dragon? Human, of course. He says he eats dreams, but he's just a child. He's just playing around. William's a fine human. These monsters appear when people tell lies. Because I'm a dragon, and I eat lies. We'll ask you again after this. Yes. 
Um, I think that's the lie. That's true. And that's also true. So I'm thinking this is the lie. Grenade? <laughs> yeah, we should be fine to just basic attack this guy. Nice level up. Well, that's definitely the lie, but I want to. What was the other one? And why don't we see what? Try, let's do this. That was it. That was nothing. I would think with ten damage, that would be a lot more. That one, that was, that right one was obvious. You had to remember that uh, everyone said that she's super worried. You're very worried about Mr. Lucas, aren't you? You were reluctant to contact anyone because of William, yes? Correct. Why? Does it have to, does it have to do with Will? Maybe you didn't know, but the police shelter dragons. Whether those dragons are subject to unfair treatment. Or if their power is unstable and they can't control it. I found out that rumors were spreading about him. I thought if I called the police, they would look into William. And I thought for sure they would take him away. I did some research into dragons. But I haven't found that the faintest idea why William's power is unstable lately. He's suffering so much. And in my ignorance, I can't help him at all. I failed as a parent. And I was very worried about Lucas too. But he wasn't getting seriously hurt, so I didn't want to worry because of William. I need to protect them, but I can't protect anyone. Pathetic. This is all so shameful. I'll do what I can. Miss Sophia, maybe the ignorance was, a, was part of your actions, but there's no shame in it. You were doing everything you could. So from it for William and Mr. Lucas, I'll ensure this is resolved. Thank you so much. Also, can I ask you two more questions? Ask away. Mr. Lucas and Miss Olivia... Have they really never so much as fought? Not as far as I know. But my memories may not be accurate, because Will and may, William may have eaten them. Although, yes, I feel that more things have been, bring, have been being broken lately. And I don't know why that is. Have Miss Olivia and William been together more lately? Yes, they have. It's very often with Olivia when she's not working. Thank you for speaking with us. That'll be all. I hope you can help us. Can you really resolve this? Yeah, we should be close. Let's go to Olivia. Oh no. Is she abusing him? I probably should heal, to be honest. Uh... Memos are nice, but if you remember things enough, you, it's not that hard. Oh, something happened? Do you mind if I talk to you for a moment? Yes, go ahead, if I can be of help. I'll get right to the point. It's about this. Well, about all these incidents with Mr. Lucas. Are you the one responsible? Now, why would you think that? Mr. Lucas is lethal womanizing as a parent, but... Miss Olivia, I also hear that you're quite jealous. So I wondered if perhaps you strangled Mr. Lucas and put him on the cross every time. Even if you're right, what's the point without evidence? That's something I want to, I'm want. i going to confirm now. Have you been getting along poorly with Mr. Lucas? With that constant fighting? I've told you this before, but while he is a quite the arrogant playboy, I'm not dissatisfied. We don't fight or anything. Because that's part of the man I adore. What are these? This girl here is basically a lie detector. Getting fed up with explaining, huh, Hal? Hmm, I see. I suppose I get it. We'll ask your explanation once these are cleaned up. How? I'm actually getting kind of full now. Well, I'm not going to go away or any other way, so quit complaining. But, like, I'm tired of the little ones. Just eat. I'll give you candy later. Woohoo! 
Uh, are these both lies? Oh. <laughs> I, I was... Oh, he's a womanizer. That's totally not the lie. Or that's totally the lie. Eh, let's use Dragon Eye again. So far, these aren't too bad, even with regular attacks. As I thought, you were fighting after all. The manager informed me that stuff is being broken with four unknown reasons. Perhaps those reasons are unknown because you're using William to erase all memory of it. <sighs> he's not with you often when he's not working with Miss. He's been with you often when he's not working with Miss Sophia or studying. That's why I suspect you have an involvement in all this, Miss Olivia. I see. If I'm wrong, could you provide an alternate explanation? You want to know? Let's play a game. If you win, then fine. I'll tell you anything. Do I have your word? Yes, and look, none of those monsters, right? I'm telling the truth. What's the game? What's your experience with black? Oh no, please! I can do blackjack. I can't do poker. I'm no. I do not know poker. I never played either. Now let's play memory. You must know to play that, don't you? Oh no. But with some special rules, we pick a value, and whoever matches two of that value wins. I'll let you pick what value to match. Ace! Ace would be good! So the little lady says. What about you? Yeah, Ace sounds fine. Let's have a practice round. I'll go first. Four and eight. No dice. Can I flip some? Go ahead. Yay! Two and two. Congratulations, but the rule are to match two aces, so sorry. And... Ace and a five. Effie, remember what that ace is. I'll remember it too if you can't. Look out for aces showing up anywhere else. Then we can win. Okay, I'll try. And the sun gun goes bang, bang, bang. My, you teach the girl a rather odd way to count. Different ace from before. Um, nice ace was here, I think. No, the ace is... <clears throat> huh? What is it? Flip a card before we all die of old age. Effie, flip one at random. Wrong one! Then it's my turn. Ace of diamonds, ace of spades. I win. Got an idea of the game? Ready for the real match. It's alright if we add some special rules of our own. True. It would be, would be, wouldn't it be fair to give one of us the advantage? First, make it best of three. Whoever wins with two matches is the overall winner. Second, after each turn, the cards in play should all be shuffled. Both sound fine to me. Let's add those rules. How about we have our game in the game room downstairs? Okay, that's fine. Oh, and one more thing. Can we have the match a little later tonight? Very well. Meet me there at seven. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> I can't tell if he's doing that because she's a beauty, but my lord... Because everyone's been describing her as having, well, ginormous kazoom bazoongas. And, uh, she does look good. She does look good for her, like, her portrait. He completely took our memories there. I had no idea where the ace was. Did you actually remember it in the first place? <laughs> but what do we do? There's no way we can win against that. I've got an idea. Let's check out the place we're having the game. Hmm. I can't protect anyone. It's pathetic, isn't it? What? Oh, that's a interesting. I, I don't want to say bug, but hmm. Sorry, I keep looking to see if I can find legendary weapons, but I don't think I'm gonna find them. Uh, let's go rest first. Wow, 24 minutes already. I was not expecting time to go by that quickly. Holy hecky becky. <laughs> Actually, I'm curious. Nothing? Don't want to talk to us? Radically change yourself again, huh? Well, it's a job that makes grudges, you know. What does a human appearance matter to dragons, really? 
You've got a unique smell, so I could pick you out with my eyes closed. Huh. Yeah, house smells like cake and macarons and donuts mixed with a chowla cream. So I smell like heartburn. <laughs> heartburn! <laughs> okay, that was a good one. Alright, let's go to... Hmm. Let's this kid will again, huh? As an underling, I don't think I've seen him much, but it still kind of makes me nervous. It's made of clear glass. It's see-through. Pretty. It's specifically made to prevent cheating. Mm -hmm. There's enough space for a person to fit in there. Can we do something with that? Yeah, it's not cheating if there aren't any rules. Plan out a way to ensure we win two rounds. Let's get to our room. Hmm. So what, you're gonna put Effie down there? You don't think they wouldn't notice? You wear that blanket over your head. Okay. Can you see my face with that on? Yep. Clearly? Even the scar on the left cheek? Yeah, real clear. Hmm. Drank some much better vision of people. What's this for? It's a way to win one round, one, one round. Two if we're not caught. Huh? That's not much of a guarantee, is it? Yeah. That's why we got your precious trump card. That's an ace, right? Uh, yeah. Mr. Lucas gave it to me. It's got my name, but he said I could rub it off. Good. Now it's guaranteed. Listen, Effie, I'll explain what we're going to do tonight. I'll say it three times top, so remember it. Okay. It's hot in this blanket. You can take it off now. <laughs> Almost time. We gotta get there before them. I'm sleepy from waiting. Listen, the plan relies on you. We can't do it without you. Staying awake. Now let's go. She gets all pepped up because he's like, we can't do this without you. Ah, Effie, why are you so cute? Sorry for the wait. Hmm? Well, where's that girl? Oh, she went to the bathroom. It's not a problem to start without her, is it? I suppose not. Also, sorry, but the air conditioning's really cold. Do you have a blanket? My, are you all right? Wait a moment. Is that sufficient? Sorry to trouble you. I think I'm fine now. Then let us begin. I went first before. So why don't you go? Okay. Seven and a three. Nope. Two and a king. Nope. Queen. Ace. Ah, an ace. Alas. Ace. Here it comes. Your hand faltered. I'll flip one in a second. Here. Ace of spades, ace of clubs. Matched. Huh? <laughs> Congratulations. But you mustn't cheat. What are you hiding under that blanket there? What do you mean? When you chose the ace, I saw it shake a little. There was no shiver. Were you hiding something in your cape that moved up to the front? Was that little shaking a tap on your foot to tell you where the ace was? You can tell me, Effie. You're so good, Miss Livia. I worked so hard to learn how to signal it, too. <laughs> I'm very skilled at seeing through those tricks. But I'll let you have that victory. And since you won, you can go first again. Right. Ace, five. I want to mix them up. Don't be so rough that they'll fly off the table. Aw, okay. My, two aces. I win. Well, want to keep going? You can't pull your cheap trick anymore. I'll play. This hasn't been settled yet. I'll go first, of course. Nope. Nope. Ace and a king. Ace. Ace of diamonds, ace of hearts. Match. Congratulations. As I promised, you may ask me anything. Really? That was easy. <laughs> so, about me and Lucas. Yes. Well, it's true. We've been fighting constantly as of late. Because Lucas keeps talking with and touching other women despite having me. 
He can't exactly be my mine alone anymore. Don't you find it terrible? Yelling at him does no good, so I did those things to him so his body might learn. Though, he's had plenty of trouble with other women still. Now, if the mantra found out about us fighting, she'd know it was me right away, yes. Thus, I had William help me to cleanly erase that. Another expression of my love. You got a problem with it? Effie, this is the kind of girl who shackles guys and throws away the key. I mean... Yes, the, yes, her beating him up and abusing him is completely out of the question and just wrong. But, like, I can't exactly blame her for getting mad. The guy's essentially cheating on her in her face and almost, in a sense, bragging about it. I don't even say almost, in a sense. He is bragging about it. He literally joked to us about how he was, how he thought the manager was hot and had legs and all that. Like, he brags about it pretty much to her face. So, I don't blame her for being angry about it, but, like, once again, the abuse is completely unnecessary. If he's doing that to you, you should just break up with him at that point. <laughs> because I'm guaranteeing you he would probably be one of those guys who feels bad, who doesn't know what he has until it's gone. Don't grow up to be like her, alright? But I don't know how to shackle, or not shackle a nobody. <laughs> Any other questions? Feel like turning yourself in? Why? Am I doing anything wrong? I think I'll know what'll happen if I tell the police what you just told me. Sure, yes, I suppose. You're just gonna erase our memories. But that last match, when you shuffled the cards at the start of the turn, you casually slid in an ace of hearts, didn't you? I've got a good eye for this, you know. And the card placement, I knew all of them from the start. What I told William to what I told William to erase was the location of, of another ace. So you retain the memory of the ace you brought in. Shame on you. One mustn't let their cheating be exposed, no matter the variety. By the way... Oh, sh oh that's a terrifying exchange. I didn't promise I'd let you go unharmed. Uh-oh. You little snake. Literally. Oh! Remember the explanation at the beginning? Um, about how, like, dogs, cats, or dog people, cat people, and all that are just considered people or human. Oh my god, she's literally a snake person. That was what it was. Gotcha. Oh. Effie. Ugh, feels like I sprained something. But I guess dragons should be fine after a fall like that. Can we get out of here? This reeks. Gotta hurry out of here. Oh boy. Ooh, that's not a good track. Next time, everybody, we'll get out of wherever we are.